400 francs. This is the highest price paid for a Van Gogh during his lifetime. Currently, his works cost millions of dollars. Why didn't this artist become a millionaire and ended his life in misery? Let's have a closer look at what happened. From attempted murder to suicide, the path of a genius. Today, Van Gogh's paintings can only be stolen. Well, in fact, there is yet another chance in a million to get it, to find someone who has already done it before you. The funny thing is, is that this theft took place without those things you see in the movies, such as crawling under laser beams, using drones and other tricks. The robbers did everything in the old-fashioned way. They simply smashed the glass on the front door of the Singer Laren Museum and entered the hall where Van Gogh's painting, the Parsonage Garden of Nunin, was exhibited. This incident happened not in the last century, but in our time of high tech. On March 30th, 2020, at approximately 3.15. By the way, Apart from the painting of Van Gogh, no other work has been stolen from the museum. The robbers knew what they were after, because the works of the great Dutchman are among the world's most expensive. Next, you will see the most significant works by Van Gogh, and find out the most precious one among them for the moment. Sunflowers. This is the name of nine paintings by Van Gogh. The artist sold the first series of paintings, depicting sunflowers lying on the table, to his friend, Gaugin. The last painting in the series was sold to a Japanese company in 1987 for $73.8 million. A quite interesting technique was used in painting the sunflowers. Oil paint was applied to canvas in thick layers, while the details of the flowers were created with the help of a palette knife and an ordinary knife. This gave the image volume and lightness. The Red Vineyards near Arles. For a long time, it was believed that this painting was the only one that Van Gogh was able to sell during his lifetime. Then, its cost was only 400 francs. Now, the canvas is kept in Moscow and is estimated at approximately $80 million. Enclosed Field with Plowmen. This painting shows the view from the window of the mental asylum, St. Paul de Massal, where Vincent spent a year after an epileptic stroke. On November 13, 2017, the painting was sold at auction for $81.3 million. Portrait of Dr. Gatchet. For 15 years, this work had been considered the most expensive canvas in the world, sold at auction. Japanese billionaire Ryoi Sato paid $82 million to the Christie's auction house. He identified himself with Van Gogh so much that he requested to be cremated and buried with the painting after his death. Fortunately, this request of his was not fulfilled, and his most expensive painting is Irises. In 1990, the painting was sold to the J. Paul Getty Museum. It costs $109.4 million. Irises is one of the first works by Van Gogh, painted while he was confined in the St. Paul de Massoul. Van Gogh was placed there by his own free will, as he was willing to make every effort to overcome a nervous breakdown. Van Gogh is considered a post-impressionist. However, he painted irises in a very accurate and realistic manner. The picture seems to be painted in a Japanese technique. There is no sky or horizon on it, only flowers as close as possible to the viewer. Meanwhile, the ground is painted in pointillist style, with many separate strokes of different colors. So who was Vincent Van Gogh, whose paintings are estimated at millions of dollars? Maybe it was Van Gogh's cut-off ear that provoked a surge of interest in his works? Next, you will know about the tragic life of this great post-impressionist artist, whose works had a huge impact on painting in the 20th century and gave impetus to new directions. Van Gogh was born on March 30th, 1853, in the Dutch village of Groot Zundert. He changed several professions. He was a teacher, a priest, and even a merchant. He ended up by becoming an artist, although he did not study painting. However, over time, he filled this gap in education by moving to Paris, the art capital of the world of that time. He independently studied Eugene Delcroix's theory of color and the textured painting by Adolphe Monticelli, Japanese color prints, and the two-dimensional oriental art in general. As a result of such a mix, he gave rise to a new artistic style, which was called Post-Impressionism. However, the birth of his style was indisputably facilitated by the influence of the Impressionists. 
including such celebrities as Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec, Camille Passaro, Edgar Degas, Emile Bernard, and Paul Gauguin. Van Gogh took part in some exhibitions of the Impressionists, in the restaurant La Forche, in the Café des Tambourines, but his paintings kept shocking the public and disappointed. He moved to the south of France, to Arles, where he decided to create a workshop for the artists of the generations to come. It was there that his particular brushwork and the concept of a creative approach were formed. Here, according to him, he tried to develop a simple technique that apparently will not be impressionistic. He began to synthesize drawing and color in order to express as much as possible the originality and essence of the local nature. It should be noted that, despite the fact that Van Gogh announced in Arles about his departure from Impressionism, its influence continued to be noticeable in his paintings, albeit that influence gradually came to an end. By the way, the notorious story with the cut-off ear is connected with precisely this workshop and with his friend, Paul Gauguin. It was to this French painter that Vincent assigned the leading role in the implementation of his workshop idea. Once, after Gauguin's arrival in Arles, they had a heated argument. It got to the point that Vincent tried to kill his friend. Gauguin miraculously managed to escape. That same evening, Van Gogh made an act thanks to which even those who are not particularly interested in art know about the artist. He cut off his ear. Not a single prostitute had ever received such a gift. A severed human ear. Only mafiosi are capable of such gifts. But Van Gogh had nothing to do with the mafia. He was an artist, although a weird one. Why did Vincent present it to a prostitute and not Gauguin? Well, simply because he prudently left Arles immediately after the attempt on his life. Whether cutting off the ear was an act of remorse by Van Gogh and a kind of atonement is not known for certain, but it certainly testified to mental disorders. So the next day, Van Gogh was taken to a mental hospital and diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy. There, the artist had a second attack and was placed in a padded cell. He spent a year in the mental asylum and created quite a number of paintings that later became widely known. Paradoxically, it was after leaving the asylum that recognition finally came. In 1889, Van Gogh was invited to participate in the Brussels exhibition of Le XX, the 20. For the first time, his paintings aroused interest, but the artist was no longer happy. Perhaps he was tired of a life that was full of grief, disappointment, loss, and many illnesses. In a word, full of sorrow. The artist painted his last painting, the famous Wheat Field with Crows, in July 1890. A week later, Van Gogh was gone. In 2011, art historians put forward the version that Van Gogh was shot by a certain teenager. But according to the official version, he went for a walk and then shot himself with a revolver intended for using to scare away flocks of birds. It remains a mystery up until now if Van Gogh's death was a murder or a suicide. In any case, his death is as strange as his life. It is no coincidence that the last words of the great Van Gogh were, sadness will last forever. P.S. Now back to the stolen painting. This only work of Van Gogh in the collection of the Groningen Museum was temporarily transferred to Singer Laren Museum for an exhibition where the painting got stolen. The painting is already included in the international list of stolen works of art by Interpol. The search for the robbers is underway. Maybe this is someone's chance in a million for finding the painting. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.